When you're ready to draw, don't forget, you should have the dull side of the foil is what we're going to be drawing on. The shiny side is underneath. When you wanna draw, you can use a range of traditional litho materials. And that can be uh, Corns pencils or stones, they work. Uh, ones are very soft and they will give you very graphic marks. Threes are medium, fives are very fine and they are very hard to see but will give you a light tone. If you're trying to trace your image, if you know what it is, you can always trace it on a sheet of mylar, put it down, and you can use either a uh, traditional iron oxide. I'm gonna just do a little bit here with a pen. And you can see that. Uh, you can also, if you don't have a traditional iron oxide tracing paper, uh, Conte or chalk, blue chalk, that can work. Uh, depends, you'll have to be a little experimental here to see what will or will not work. And, but they do show. And that's enough to give you, if you have a bit, an idea of where your image is, if you need it. But that's a way to trace a predetermined image so you know where to work with your tonality things. With a number five, you're gonna see, it'll grab the tooth uh, from the plexi underneath, but you'll see it's a very light tone, but it will print lightly. If you're not sure, underdraw just a little bit. That is one thing I've noticed. Another thing is it is handy to have a piece of paper to brace your uh, hand on. That's a number three. You can see the difference there, right? And a number one is a very soft, and that's gonna be your really dark. You're really not going to get tone with the, the really softs, but you can get light and medium, and with the number threes, you can build up your tone. You can work with either Corns brand or Stones brand, both work. You can also work with a polychromos pencil. These for fine line, I'm surprised how often this shows. Not every bit of it shows, and I draw pretty firmly with this, but remarkably they do show. And you also have the option of touche. I have just experimented with water-based touche but you can mix up water-based touche, either from Charbonnel or corn stick, and paint it on and let it dry, and it will work. So those are your drawing materials, plus a tablet. This can also get some tonality. So you have some range. It's not quite as extensive as a stone or aluminum plate, but it is fairly broad in what you can get from this. All right, this is a close-up of some more drawing. This is a litho crayon, and it will just go nice, very nice for graphic blacks. The number five, very subtle. You can build up tone, but again, I would avoid overdrawing. This will roll up darker than you think think if you have a lot of layering with it. The number three catches really nicely, and if you do a light and then build up, your three is probably your most versatile. Uh, whether it's the stones or the corns doesn't matter. And we'll just have some of that there. And again, one of the joys of this is you get tonality. At, because of the tooth of the plexi underneath. And so if you look here, that is a range of very light to darker. I didn't put a lot of heavy darks in this one, but you could. Um, it just builds up nice and easy, and we have the registration marks. If you want to do registration, 
use either a very fine pencil or the polychromos and you can go with TM bar where you measure out where you need your registration and do T and bar is what I would recommend. You could also do a punch system if you did a jig that would fit around, but that is a discussion for another day. Once you have a drawing, there you go. Now this I did very tonally, but you can go very gesturally, very abstractly. Uh, it's really up to you what you wanna do. And this has the registrations, a T and a bar already on it. 